Xbox just finished its Xbox Game Showcase. This was basically what show to replace E3. Usually, my biggest takeaways is, you know, do they have interesting new IPs? Do they have interesting indies that they put on the you know, center stage? In some cases, they did here. But when you think about the whole show together, there was a pretty good mix of new IP and old IP. The first part of showing was, was actually fairly strong. I, I would say definitely stronger than the, what they started out with with Xbox One. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Showcase. First of all, Obsidian is working on, on a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, they were like a good chunk of the show. They had they announced the Outer Worlds DLC. They had Grounded, that first person build a bug uh, fort uh, game, yeah. and then they had about. They're they're really busy. I'm a huge like Halo fan, and uh, uh, you know like the, the established Microsoft IP. For me, Halo Infinite, I was pleased with what I saw, but I was also a little bit disappointed with how little we got. So we know that it's going to be open world. There's an upgrades tab that we saw. Of course, he has a new grappling hook, but we didn't see anything on the multiplayer, which is arguably for some people most of the game for them. We're outgunned, outnumbered. Fable also was an exciting thing for me. Now Playground Studios is doing it, and they've been in charge of the Forza series. But there's just a lot that we don't know about these two major IPs that Microsoft has uh, touted in the past. We saw a lot of games that we already knew about. Tell me why from Don't Nod, the creators of Life is Strange. Probably the most standout thing that we've already known about this is there's a transgender character, a transgender protagonist, which we do not see that kind of representation very much in games whatsoever. And the only way to move forward is to keep looking back. As Dusk Falls looked really interesting to me, which is basically a narrative game from a former lead game designer of Quantic Dream. Everwild was another big one for me. It just looks beautiful, looks really immersive. By uh, Rare Studios. The biggest takeaway of the show in total is just that all these games are coming to Game Pass. I mean, mm -hmm. that is wild. It's, it really is showing that Microsoft and Xbox are the best deals for gamers. Man, sometimes I wonder, I'm like, are they being too consumer friendly? Like, you're really getting a bang for your buck with these kind of Netflix-like subscriptions. I guess for me, it's always like, do they have a strong enough lineup? You can have a great marketing plan, you can have a great subscription-based service, but are the games on that service enough? And I, I think that's why they, they showed so much of a diversity of different types of games to kind of like, right. like ultimately maybe the start of the show was not even a Halo, it was Game Pass. Look at the wide variety of games that you get with Game Pass just for 10 bucks a month. Even though this was the game showcase, it was still a really, really good showcase for what's becoming the centerpiece of their strategy. Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today. Between the two game lineups, the PS5 is more exciting, and that's because PlayStation has already been building that runway for great first-party uh, support for the past several years. They're already ready with Spider-Man. They're already ready with Ratchet and Clank. And by the way, Ratchet and Clank, uh, which is so exclusive, really showed off the, the the beauty and the power of the SSD with all those fast loading levels. That to me says more about next gen uh, than anything that, that that PS5 or Xbox has shown. But that's on the PS5 side. Did you see that? I think for people like me who enjoy very rich narrative experiences, Sony has just such a good track record for that. It's a no-brainer for me that I'm going to get a PS5 in that sense. I think I still would need to see a little bit more from Microsoft in terms of the type of games that I'm looking for.